can't believe this is happening. This sucks. I do not want to have to do that. Ugh, do you smell that? I can't believe people still smoke. This is so inconvenient. God, I am just fed up with him. I should have known this was gonna happen. I really don't trust her. If you've ever dealt with any of those characterizations, any situation that you get into and you're just like, this stinks. I have some information for you. You might be expecting a cold sometime in the next few days or weeks because our bodies are programmed for when we experience a this stinks conflict to respond in a very biologically evolutionarily appropriate way and that way is when you have a conflict the moment of the conflict your nasal passage starts eroding if you experience an, a situation that you feel like this just stinks that you are just fed up or, you know, it could be an actual smell in your environment. It could be someone who smokes, someone who uses toxic laundry detergent in your neighborhood. It could be um, someone with like, you know, Axe body spray. It could be an actual smell, something that you think is toxic, something that you don't like, something that really bothers you. That could trigger a this stinks conflict. Or more likely, it's in a situation, a situation that you have interpreted that it's a situation that sucks. It stinks, you are fed up, you, are, you wish you didn't have to deal with it, you're, you're like extremely inconvenienced by whatever this thing is, and you just like, Ugh. but you have to deal with it, whatever it is. Um, you have this emotion of this stinks. And so your body is perceiving every single thing that you are feeling every single time you have a negative emotion especially if it's something, something that's unexpected. If it's something that you can kind of expect, you kind of knew that this was gonna happen, or um, you had uh, some time to prepare for, and you kind of knew that you were going to be, you know, inconvenienced at some point, is different than when something just kind of like, ugh, happens, and you weren't really expecting it, and it catches you off guard. That's the key for knowing the difference between, you know, kind of regular stress and whether or not this is going to trigger a DHS, which is that adaptive biological program that could set off when you have a conflict. And so that sends a message directly to your brain after you perceive it. There's an impact in the brain in the area of the cerebral cortex uh, for this particular conflict. And then the messages are sent to the nasal passageway to erode. And so you could get a little bit of a dry nose during this time because your mucus uh, producing cells in your nose, there is erosion. And so this tissue adaptation, it's designed to better be able to take in and smell what is going on because our sense of smell, although we don't need it all that much for sniffing out danger in today's world, in the ancient world, in the, you know, evolved pre-human creature world, and, you know, early on it was very important for uh, organisms to be able to smell danger, to smell potential threats. And so that's why, you know, animals have such, you know, very sensitive um, sense of smell because they're more in tune to that kind of like primal savage, you know, smelling something is a very important part of survival. So during conflict activity, every moment that you're upset about this thing, your nasal passage is eroding and widening. Um, and so once you resolve this conflict, once you get over it, once you're, you know, you're not thinking about it anymore, the situation has changed, you have a new perspective, you get away from the offensive odor, whatever it is, your body has to heal. And so when it switches the program from conflict activity, which is tissue erosion, to healing, that's when your nose is just so stuffed up. It's swollen. You like can barely breathe out of it. That's when you like blow your nose. There's like nothing there, but it, you still just, you can't do anything. You can't breathe. They're just, why it's my nose so stuffed up? And it's because there's swelling. All healing happens in a fluid environment. So the fluid rushes in and it's swollen and then there is rebuilding of the tissue. And during that rebuilding phase, you'll have, you know, drainage and dripping and blowing your nose and all of that fun head cold kind of stuff. Um, and then during the epileptoid crisis, when the program turns and you are finishing the healing phase, you'll maybe have sneezing fits or nosebleeds. Um, you get a little lightheaded. And so this is a biological program. A cold, it's not a germ, it's not a bug, unless you caught the this stinks conflict from somebody else, which again, 
mindsets, um, things that people think stink in a family. And that's why it's rare that just one person in a family will get a cold, everybody will get it, because everybody's kind of dealing with the fallout of whatever situation really stinks, whatever thing that the people have to do that they don't want to do in the family. It's not just one person that's affected. Every single person is affected by these negative vibrations, by this mood, by this attitude. And so they all can have their own form of a this stinks conflict. And so this is something to be aware of going into you know, sniffle and sneeze season. It's just a season where a lot of people have to do things that they don't want to do. You know, you've got more obligations in the fall time, especially if you've got a family, you've got a lot of places to go, people to pick up, unexpected, you know, things that come up. And so awareness of this, awareness of like, am I just, you know, resisting these things in my life? Am I, you know, being uh, very obstinate and disagreeable when it comes to unexpected things coming up? Or can I go with the flow? Can I let it be okay? Can I say, oh, you know, surprising things happen. And so it's that ability to be more flexible in your um, interaction with the events of your life will prevent you from having cold. And you know, you may still have situations where you're like, oh, that stinks. But the more aware you are that you are in conflict, the quicker you resolve it, the less the symptoms will be. A lot of times you won't even barely have any symptoms at all. But no, these programs are going on all the time. Your body is always, always trying to adapt for your greatest good. And sometimes it can seem very inconvenient to us to, to have a, a stuffed up nose, but there's a reason that your body did it. And the more awareness that you have of this entire process, the healthier you will be because you'll recognize this is all a sign of health to begin with. So thank you for watching. If you're new to all of this material, please watch GNM 101, an introduction to the five biological laws. You can find it on YouTube and also on patreon.com com slash GNM tutor. Thank you so much.